Not everyone is how they seem to be from the outside. I have never been a very outgoing or talkative person in my life, ever. In fact, for my first few years in elementary school, I was extremely shy, although I would talk quite a lot at home, as I still do. <laughs> I didn't talk to new people at all and would have trouble interacting with peers and teachers at school. When it came time to pick partners for activities or projects at school, I was always the one person that would just stand there and wait to be noticed, and most of the time, I wasn't even noticed at all. At lunch, I would always sit, quote unquote, by myself. So I would sit next to peers, but not talk to them and just stare off into space, act like I wasn't there. Not only was I shy, but I did have some issues that I dealt with in elementary school. I had trouble starting conversations with peers unless I was prompted to. I would get upset whenever I was picked last for games or activities and I would be especially worried about who was better than me. All those issues that I had were a part of why I was so quiet. There would be times when my friends and peers wouldn't want to talk to me, although they didn't directly say it, I could just tell, because of my pickiness with certain things. Then, before I knew it, that time came when I graduated fifth grade and was about to start middle school. I was nervous. Not because of the typical reasons, but because of the past self that I was in elementary school, and I didn't want that to affect my middle school self. I was worried that no one would want to be friends with me because of who I was. Though I had gotten over my past issues by the time I got to middle school, I was still a quiet person and not sure how I was going to make new friends. I envisioned myself being alone in middle school, not having any new friends. However, when the time officially came, Man, did I realize how wrong I was. When I started the sixth grade, I joined the band, choir, and art club, and in seventh grade, I joined the jazz band in GSA, and I also did musicals. When I joined all those clubs in middle school, believe it or not, I really did start to come out of that shell that I had been in all throughout elementary school. Not only did I find myself and interests and make new friends for all, through all these things, but I was able to let go of some of my past issues and not think about them. I can still be quiet to this day, and I do feel like people have a misconception of me and think of me as a shy person when they first meet me, but once they get to know me, I can just see that they discover the outgoing person I really am, but not always have been. In conclusion, I was, and kind of still am, ashamed of who I used to be and my past issues, and now I have learned not to let them define me and, if, and negatively affect who I am now. In the end, do not let your past self have an effect on your future self negatively. And do not assume, just assume how someone is based on how they seem from the outside because trust me, when you get to know them, that's when you'll discover who they really are.